All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm in the house uh, uh, to show you guys a little bit of a collection update and to see what's new and what's gone. You're gonna find out pretty soon, but hey, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about all these uh, uh, pieces of metal that I'm gonna uh, show to you. So uh, this is the tray where I keep uh, some tools uh, and some uh, other oddities. Like for example, this is the Shirogorov tweezer uh, set, which uh, comes with the matching uh, uh, tool. Of course, you got the bits uh, inside. And look at this, guys. This is the Sinkovich tool, um, also made in collaboration with Shirogorov. It's spinning on the top and it's swiveling. Look at that. You can lock it 90 degrees or 60 degrees. It's uh, incredibly designed. It's pretty cool. Look at that bear right there. And then you get uh, to see some uh, Shirogorov pen tool. So uh, these are titanium pens. Uh, you can uh, unscrew and of course, you know, you screw it back like that. Uh, and uh, you can use uh, uh, this thing as you would do with a pen. Or right over here, you have a magnetic end with a couple of bits on the inside to take down and take care of your Shirogor knife. The knife. And uh, that's the V3 in titanium. This is the frag in blue titanium anodized. Pretty cool. And this is the custom division uh, pen, which holds the custom division bit, uh, as you can see from the marking right over there. Classic uh, uh, Mokutai and Zirconium. Uh, screwdriver, couple of Leatherman tools. Uh, this is the uh, Fontenil Pateau Laguiole Nature Mammoth Scale Raindrop uh, Damascus Blade. Uh, this is a lock back, like same as this guy. These are not slip joints. They do lock. This is the Fab Edition uh, Lithier, also from Fontenil Pateau. Just unlock it like this. Uh, you got Mammoth Pulp uh, uh, for the scales, uh, Raindrop Damascus for the bolster and the blade. Uh, up here you get to see a couple of uh, uh, knives that I use for the size comparison. This is the Spyderco Para uh, 3, pretty cool, S30V, S35 VN Steel, uh, Flytanium uh, Titanium Scales and uh, A Purvis uh, Timascus Clip, uh, pretty cool. Same thing goes for the Paramilitary 2 you get to see right over here, blacked out blade. Again, pretty fancy clip. And uh, same deal for the scales. These are from uh, Flytanium. Same thing for these bug out. Uh, right over here that you get to see a uh, nice 20 CV steel blacked out uh, with some carbon fiber uh, spacer. This is like steel needs to break in uh, mini bug out this guy is in s30v same deal flytanium titanium scales and uh, you get to see a, uh, a carbon fiber backspacer next tray is a little bit more interesting you get to see right over here um, let's start from up there so these are uh, not mine these are uh, from uh, just got these from Alliance Designs uh, uh, this is the chisel and uh, they were sent in by Eden uh, to check them out so this is a pretty cool one uh, fat carbon I think this is the Arctic Storm uh, uh, finish for the uh, this fat carbon pretty cool design uh, for this knife here you get to see look at this this is CMF custom and you get to see uh, the counterpart right over here also these were sent in by Alliance design they do some of pretty amazing uh, um, versions of the custom, which are like affordable. And here you get to see the same uh, with the uh, fat carbon and Dama steel blade, pretty cool frame lock. Uh, this one is uh, a duck uh, from Cody Utzler. This is the production version, this is a prototype. So uh, yeah, you're kind of lucky to see this guy with this pretty cool Tanto blade and whew, the action is just crazy. Nice titanium frame lock. I love uh, these grids right there. And then down here, you get to see some carbon fiber, some titanium. This is the North Arm Knife Skaha. Uh, this is the, ver the second version or the 2.5, I don't know, uh, because there's no milling going on on the blade just flat uh, nice a flat grind pretty cool action this is very whew, guys this is amazing if you've never checked out one of those 
yeah, do it. Especially this carbon fiber version is whoo, snappy, beautiful action. It's fantastic. And they are made in Canada, so can't go wrong. This thing is the XM18 uh, from Hinder Knives. Uh, this is a pretty cool one. Flipper Delete, fuller, blacked out version. Look at this thing. M390 steel, rock and rolling. Crazy action. This is the, uh, you know, the, the, the generation six where you can swap the pivot and you can actually see right over here from there, triway pivot. Pretty cool, sharp by design, uh, sorry, sharp dress knives uh, uh, scale and titanium bronze hardware. Next up, you get to see this beauty right over here. This is the Shirogoro of Tabargan 110NS, um, axis lock, S35VN steel, 3D carbon fiber scales, and look at this washer's actions. It's ridiculous, look at that proverbial Shirogoro action you get also on an axis lock. Not a fan of this uh, uh, pocket clip, but look at the backspacer, pretty gorgeously done in 3D uh, milled carbon fiber scales for whew, a crazy smooth action right over there. And then you get to see a bunch of Chris Reeve knives uh, because I like the uh, plain Jane blade uh, with some uh, uh, Damascus for the, um, sorry, plain Jane handle and Damascus for the uh, blade. Here you do see a large uh, Sebenza 21 with ladder Damascus and you see a little bit of oil right there because we don't want anything to rust. And uh, this is the, uh, uh, basket weave pattern again large Sebenza 21 plain Jane handle another plain Jane handle but this guy is gonna be the Sebenza 31 and um, it has uh, some pretty wicked boomerang Damascus uh, uh, blade right over there again you get another Chris Reeve knives uh, this is the Nandi blade HQ exclusive carbon fiber inlays and basket weave Damascus blade this is one of the coolest uh, um, gentleman's knife really really amazing piece fit and finish is stellar super lightweight uh, check this out guys this is a uh, uh, large in cozy also blade hq excuse exclusive s45 v and steel this is a pretty good one guys i love this guy uh, millet clip with carbon fiber inlay you know to go as well uh, with the knife great action super solid option for uh, you're large and cozy and uh, this is the small Sebenza 21 with this pretty unique and super rare Spirograph Damascus blade really really cool indeed look at this fantastic um, Arius Koenig knife style 55 I mean guys this is a very cool looking knife crazy action M390 steel titanium frame lock of course, style 55, look at this. Ooh, fantastic. Let's move on to the next tray and check it out. Uh, what do we have onto this uh, coming up? Um, the, we, we are going like a little bit high in price, uh, guys, here. Uh, look at this. I mean, this is one of my favorite for this year that I have acquired. This is the Brian Nado Void NL. Um, NF, sorry, XL. This is the non-flipper edition. I don't think there's there were many made uh, for this version. I think maybe four. Uh, fantastic pocket clip, titanium frame lock. Guys, this thing is just gorgeous. One of my favorite uh, acquisition for 2021. Really, really cool indeed. And this is the uh, Look at this beauty. Uh, this belonged to Dr. Frankie. This is the BBM uh, Nick Chuprin and Robert Carter collaboration, as you can see right over here. It's a gorgeous knife, Cerakoted uh, titanium frame and the Frankie anodization going on for the backspacer, the clip, and the pivot collar in this really, really attractive. Uh, Tiny folder, really, really cool. Um, next up, 520 Philip Georget Custom, titanium bolsters and lightning strike, carbon fiber scales and backspacer. Amazing, amazing uh, titanium clip. Nice front flipper, look at the action, it's just insane. Hand rub, 
finish for this uh, blade as well uh, next up is one of my favorite knife on washers and this is the Kultrotech um, this is the Svarn 3 and these are some of my fingerprints on this pretty cool mirror polished blade it's a liner lock it's a big boy titanium carbon fiber look at this I mean this thing is crazy and it's on washers guys it's probably the smoothest action that I've ever seen on a knife on washers milled pocket clip there's so much things uh, going on on this one it's just crazy uh, then you get to see four uh, Holt Bladeworks uh, knives and this is the haptic prestige version one with black Timasca scales I mean just let's just stop for a second and check these scales out guys how cool is this? Uh, this is M390 blade, you get to see right over here. It's a nice flipper, crazy action, fantastic ergos. I love the shape, I love the size, I really love the haptics so that I had to get two. And this is another Prestige, this is the version two. You can see it like mainly from the uh, different backspacer there and the jimping right over here. Um, look at this polished blade, it's just gorgeous. And another black time maskus handle for you guys to admire, this is uh, very unique you don't see this thing uh, that often very cool and also you get to see a couple of uh, uh, Spectre both prestige uh, this is prestige because of the of course dama steel blade it is a version 2 and it's just like a gorgeous action like ooh, it's nuts guys this is uh, incredible action and this is the version 3 v3 spectre prestige time maskus clip backspacer fade anodization for this scale would you look at the job that angie did and of course you get a very cool damascus blade for this v3 spectre prestige just like a fantastic action as well let's go to the last tray right over here where you do get to, to see Another couple of uh, pretty you know, high-end knives. Uh, here you get uh, to see the Peter Rassenti Large Nirvana 4.0 with a Moku tie handle and uh, a hand rub satin blade. Uh, Moku tie pocket clip, Zirk uh, hardware. Check the detail on this Moku tie. It's truly gorgeous action, sound, look. It can't go wrong. This is the version 3.0, uh, 4.0, 3.0. This is another uh, fantastic knife. Uh, you get to see right over here with Dama steel blade and also Moku tie handle and some milling going on. Zirk pivot collar and hardware pretty much uh, match. Pretty yeah, kind of like matching uh, the uh, new version right over here. Uh, another Canadian one. Uh, it's the Kirby Lambert Rain, and this is a gorgeous knife, guys. Come on, look at that. Super smooth, crazy action. This thing has a dragon skin Damascus blade, uh, zirconium bolster, carbo quartz uh, handle, also dragon skin floating backspacer, zirk uh, pocket clip, and moku tie collar for this unique amazing fantastic Saskatchewan made knife and then there's some Shiro custom division right over here you get to see the Stellar and this is an inset lock uh, from Shiro Gorov this is the latest uh, model to join the custom division lineup uh, check out inset lock for um, uh, pivot collar, uh, titanium beautifully milled, uh, titanium pocket clip and uh, uh, backspacer custom division bits, uh, M398 uh, steel, one of the sexiest blade and look at the action, this is just ridiculous runs on roller bearings, uh, uh, non-spinning pivot, uh, the detail on the milling, on. Uh, in every corner of this knife is just uh, stellar like the name says and then you get to see another stellar knife but this is called f95 antique and it's one of the most satisfactory action on a knife ever strong detent gorgeous uh, closing action on roller bearings uh, you get uh, look at this 
patina going on on the backspacer, on the pivot collar, fantastic milling, S90 V steel, one of the best pocket clips in the business. I mean, gorgeously executed, one of my favorite. And next to that, I mean, uh, Shirogov of Custom Division, Neon, NL, Titanium, Frame Lock, Carbon Fiber, Marbled, uh, Inlays, look at this, Backspacer, and the clip, Ooh, this thing is ridiculous, uh, it's sporting an S110 V steel, action is insane, this thing on roller bearings is just ridiculous, like uh, a blade this small, this light, that has this kind of action is unheard of, only Shiro could pull this off, I think, and then up here we get to see another one of my favorite. This is the Shirogov Custom Division F5 Silk. Uh, this is not the, uh, the the Silk Slim. This is just the Silk. Uh, in fact, you can notice that this guy is sporting Zirk pivot collar and a Zirk backspacer. Uh, collars on both sides. Very cool blue anodization. This is not the slim. This is just the silk. And it's silky, I'm telling you. Uh, Vanax 37 steel titanium frame lock with some very, very subtle milling. Turn on that 4K option to enjoy the level of silkiness of this milling going on in this Shirogorov is just spectacular. But the cake, it's taken this year probably by this fella right over here. This is the Shirogorov F3 NS Custom Division, probably my favorite knife to date. S90 V steel, check out the laser pattern like etched on the blade. Turn on that 4K option, guys, uh, because you're in for a treat. Uh, check the milling up close. How cool is this? Shirogorov doesn't disappoint uh, in under any aspect of this knife. One of the smoothest action you'll ever find on a knife. It's very expensive. It's just gorgeous. It is probably my favorite acquisition for this year. So. There you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.